Hi, I'm Sean Lee with uh, Idea Engineering, and today I just wanted to uh, present you with the digital uh, height uh, presetting gauge from iGaging. And uh, I've got an old machine here. This is an old Shopsmith, uh, about a half century old. Um, but when I'm trying to drill precision holes, you know, I want to actually make it a, a very specific depth. Uh, the gauge on here uh, is not very sufficient, and I really don't tr trust that it's accurate. So if I want to know, you know, the depth on this bit compared to a bit, if I change to a higher, uh, a bigger bit, for example, if I'm drilling into metal, I want to, you know, drill with a smaller bit and then get a larger and larger bit, um, but I want to drill to the same depth. Then what I can do is I can put the, uh, the digital presetter here. Um, I can set the depth that I want, uh, zero it out, and you can see that it's all, all zeros right now. And then I can uh, change bits. So pull this bit off. So I can find a chuck. And put a, a bigger bit on. All right, so now when I go to reset this, I just push down on the, on the bit until the gauge lights up. And when it lights up, that tells you it's at zero. There it goes. Okay, let me lock it in place. <laughs> it's a little difficult with this old machine, but uh, newer machines <laughs> have much finer movement, so this is actually easier to do. Um, the funny thing is this presetter gauge is actually far more accurate than this machine would be. But if you have, say, a, you know, a vertical mill or something, uh, this would be good for that. This is good to, uh, it can measure to uh, one thousandth of a millimeter. Uh, it's uh, repeatable to two thousandths of a millimeter. Okay, and I got it to light up. That means I'm at zero. Well, I'm within two thousandths of a millimeter uh, of zero. So that means that uh, I can lock this now, and it will drill to the same depth that the other bit did. Um, so very, very handy tool. Uh, it's great for more modern tools that are more accurate than, than this whole thing, um, but it is also handy for this. So you can use it for uh, you know, mills, uh, lathes, you know, whatever you need to, uh, to set the depth uh, vertically or horizontally uh, to, the right, uh, uh, to the right spot. And uh, if you take a look, close look at this guy, uh, you can see that it has a magnetic bottom, so it'll stick to the side of something. So if you want to, you know, calibrate your lathe, uh, say, to a certain depth, uh, you can actually uh, attach this to a, a metal sp a metal place and it'll stay in, in, spot, in place. Or if you're using a, like a CNC machine, you can also set your, your bits that way. Um, so very handy, and the fact that it lights up when you hit zero, if I can do it with my finger here, uh, yeah, you don't have to keep an eye on the gauge because you can see the, the, the light when it lights up. There it goes. <laughs> it's a little difficult to do with my hand. But with, with a machine, it's uh, a lot easier to do. So, uh, and, um, It actually has quarter 20 holes in the back, so you can attach it uh, that way as well. Um, and very handy tool. So. Thank you. Have a good day.